In this problem, we're told how much work can a three horsepower motor do in one hour? So in order to solve this problem, there's a formula you need to know, which is the formula for power. So you need to know that power is equal to work over time. And so keep in mind what we're trying to find in this problem. We're trying to find how much work can a three horsepower motor do in one hour. So this is the formula, but what we're trying to do is find the work. So we have to manipulate this for work. And so we can do that just by multiplying both sides by t. And so you're essentially going to get that the work is equal to the time multiplied by the power. So we need to find each of these variables, right, if we're trying to solve for the work. So we need the time, and then we need the power. So let's go ahead and write these down. So we know the time that you're telling us is going to be one hour, right? So they tell us this is, we're trying to find the work, it can do in one hour. And then the power is going to be three horsepower. So these are going to be our two units. But when we solve this, we want to make sure uh, our time is in seconds and then our power is in watts. So we have to convert both of these. So how do we convert the hour first? So we know that for every one hour, there's 30, uh, 3,600 seconds, right? Because there's 60 seconds in a minute and then there's 60 seconds in an hour or 60 minutes in an hour. And you multiply both, right? It's 3,600. So essentially just take your number, multiply it by 3,600. So for every one hour, there's just 3,600 seconds. So let's write that down. And so now we got to do uh, this one. So for this one, you have to know that for every one horsepower, or one horsepower is equal to 746 watts, right? So if we have three horsepower, we know that there's 746 watts per one horsepower. So essentially, we can just cancel that out, three times 746. If you go ahead and do that, that's going to give it to you in watts. So this is going to be 2,238 watts. So 2,238 watts. And so now all we have to do is just plug it in our formula because we have it in watts in seconds. So seconds is 3,600 at the time. Multiply that by the power, 2,238. So if you go ahead and plug that in your calculator, 2,238 times 3,600, uh, you're going to get that it equals... Eight. So you're gonna get equals eight million uh, fifty-six thousand eight hundred. So this right here is gonna be your number. What you can go ahead and do is round this. So you might want to just round this to eight point one million essential, uh, essentially. And so we can just go one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can just rewrite it as eight point one times 10 to the sixth and then keep in mind what we measure work in i forgot to say that but it's in joules so 8.1 times 10 to the sixth joules or if you just want to keep the more exact version this one right here just do whatever your teacher wants you to do uh, but yeah so this is going to be how you solve this problem and hopefully you found this useful